Uh, so some important concepts for maintaining the, the guard and not letting someone pass, okay? First off, think of layers that the person has to get through to get past your legs, okay? So the furthest layer I can keep Liv back is having my feet in front of Liv, okay? She's really far away from getting to side control right now. Any time, even if she starts to get around, if I can get a foot back in front, even just one leg, that can usually give yourself all the space. You can push them away, make enough space to get your legs right back in front, okay? If she, uh, then the next layer is your, your knees. So if Liv managed to push my feet and jam my feet out of the way, then I come forward and I can't get them back, then I can try to get my knees blocking. And I also should have my hands out. An outstretched hand, like here, is, is good. Next to that is elbows, is another layer, okay? Uh, once she's got past my, my knees, then it's much harder, I'm getting worse, and it's getting worse and worse. Then we have like shorter frames, trying to get our underhooks and so on from there. Okay, but you're always aiming to get them back. Well, not always, but you often, if you want to retain guard, like if you can get them back to that first layer, you've really pushed them back a long way. Okay, some other things that are really important. Don't open your knee away from your chest. This is how Liv is going to pass the guard, okay? She gets to here, she gets that space. I always want to keep my knee tight to my chest, so if she gets around, it's really hard to get in through that gap, okay? Now, I always want to face Liv if I can. So if she goes around, I face her here. So my both feet can be attacking and both arms can be attacking. If she can turn me away, I have nothing to block her and she can actually get into good position. 